I am a full-time reseller. This is my job. Best job ever. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I'm gonna talk to you about 27 of my bread and butter bolos, items I sold on eBay for $35 or less. I'm gonna tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. I am a full-time reseller. This is my job, best job ever. Um, let me know in the comments if you are full-time or part-time, and if you think this is the best job ever. All right, let's get started um, with these bread and butter bolos. Uh, bolo is an item to be on the lookout for. So here is a vintage Fisher Price Loving Family Grill. And I picked this up. I pick up uh, Loving Family all the time. A lot of times I will get these on Facebook Marketplace or I will get them at garage sales. It's a dollhouse and it'll have a bunch of furniture. And typically I will donate the dollhouse. I used to sell them, but I just am, I don't like packaging them. They are so massive and big. Can you? Yes. You can also op, like sell them on Facebook marketplace, but usually I just donate them. Um, if they're damaged, I will part them out. I will take out the windows and the doors and sell those. It really just depends on condition and stuff like that. Um, you will see me at the Goodwill bins. I will pull doors and windows and stuff off of the play sets um, of the bins that are picked over. Because if those items get pulled back and they take the bin away, those items are going to the landfill and somebody needs those replacement parts. So um, I definitely will do that. Uh, Calico Critters, um, Loving Family, there's different dollhouses that definitely those replacement parts will sell. So I sold this for $9.30 plus shipping. This also came out of the Goodwill bins. It had the original tag on it. It is like brand new. Uh, nothing wrong with it. Not a thing wrong with it. Uh, it's retired and hard to find. Uh, I got it at the bins, so probably maybe a dollar, maybe dollar fifty. I'm gonna guess around a dollar because it's a dollar eighty nine a pound, and there's no way this weighed a pound. But it's got the Dotson on the front, and that dog is, you know, people who have that dog, they want the item that goes with it. And I sold this for thirty four dollars plus shipping, best offer. The next item is this Victoria's Secret stockings. I got these at a thrift store for 75 cents. You can see this is where the price sticker was. They were still new in the original packaging, so I included new with tags. I got these for 75 cents, sold them for $16.25 plus shipping, and they sold really quickly. The next item is this Spark Create Imagine Rainbow Stacker. It's like a building toy, and I got this... Um, out of a thrift store toy box and it took a while to sell actually but it's super cute um you can like build with it and do different things but it sold for seven dollars and 80 cents plus shipping not a whole lot it's not an expensive item to begin with and by the time you take the price and add the shipping and the tax i mean the buyer was all in for 16.52 for it and they probably could have got it like at walmart or something for less i don't know if it's retired or not this is a vintage Christmas Santa Claus ready to paint. It is so funny. I have had these listed for quite a while. And all of a sudden, um, I have them listed on eBay and Mercari. Most of them have actually sold on Mercari. So I start my items on eBay and then I cross post with list perfectly to Mercari and Poshmark. And if you want to see how I do that, I have a link down in um, the description of a how-to video. And it's really great to get eyes different eyes on your items. So I definitely recommend cross posting. Um, like I said, I use list perfectly. And if you decide you want to watch that video and try it, you can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word. So that's down below in the description. But this is a ready to paint. I got these out of a thrift store mystery box. And again, they're doing better on Mercari. But uh, yeah, they just sat and sat and all of a sudden there's all this interest in them. It's really weird um, how sometimes things will sit and then all of a sudden they start selling. But this is from 1993. So it is vintage. He is pretty cool. So somebody will paint this. 
and I sold that for $26 plus shipping. This is a Lamaze Walk and Roll Safari Replacement Monkey. And this came out of a toy box that I bought from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. It is called a Dibble Box. It's a dibble bit of this and a dibble bit of that. But this one was mostly toys. I have the full unboxing on this channel if you guys want to check out what I got, what I paid for everything, and what I expect to make on the whole box. Um, it's a great place to source from home. Donatella Bottolino and Auctions for You are the two channels that I buy from. And I will link them down below. This is just a bread and butter bolo, but um, I like selling replacement parts and the girls know that. So when they build my boxes, they will throw stuff in there like this because they know I will part it out. Uh, this one sold for $6.50 plus shipping. The next item is this uh, quilting thread. And I made the mistake of selling some other quilting thread way too cheap. Um, I listed it and it sold super quick. So when I came upon this, I knew to list it higher. I ended up selling this for a best offer of $24 plus shipping. I got it at an estate clean out. Um, so probably have about a buck in it, if that. Here is more floss. So I got tons and tons of embroidery floss from this sale. What I decided to do, I don't know if this was the right thing to do, but there was so much of this one color that I put it in lots of 12 and I had 25 of them. So um, I'm just gonna sell them in quantity. So I've got 24 left. I sold this for $11.70 plus shipping. I have other colors available that I did the same thing with. So people can go to my eBay store and they can bundle them. On my first class items, I offer $5 shipping with the purchase of two or more items that are in certain like categories. It's mostly my first class stuff. So let's say you added this and two others, two other colors to your cart, your shipping would be a flat rate of $5. If you buy 10 lots, if you buy three lots, if you buy four, and if for some reason you go to do that and it doesn't work, like of course, send me a message, but it should work. But if you um, are into crafting, I've got a whole bunch of this listed. And this is the DMC and it is vintage. So these colors may be discontinued. I'm not sure. The next item is this Goble Why Not Santa Claus. And I sold the snowman. And you'll see him in another video. But this was from the Goodwill Benz. And I got about probably a dollar in him. And I sold him for $16.25 plus shipping. The next item are these vintage toddler time baby shoes. Um, I do pick up baby shoes if I see them and they are vintage. I got these at a thrift store for $2 and sold them for $16.25 plus shipping. This is a Narvik mohair blend of uh, yarn. It's super fine mohair. I got this at a thrift store. I paid $1.20 for it and I sold this for $18.60 plus shipping. This next item is just a lot of greeting cards. I don't even know where I got them. I, I don't know if they were in a mystery uh, Christmas lot or what, but I ended up selling all of these for $21.70 plus shipping. This is the Lincoln Logs track from the same Goodwill Benz haul that I got that Santa that I just showed you. Um, the reason I remember is because I ran out of, um, on my phone, I had no battery. So I had to go plug in. And after I shopped, I did a video from my car with it plugged in of my shopping cart. So you guys all have to go check out that video. But normally my footage is of actually me digging through the bins. And those videos are super fun. I pop up screen shares of how I list everything and show you the things that have sold. So I do keep those educational. So I think you guys will really like my bins videos. And I have a whole playlist. So uh, I ended up selling this track for $30 plus shipping. And I know the Rebel reseller. Um, I watch her YouTube channel also. And I know she has talked about the Lincoln Logs track as well. So definitely check out the Rebel reseller. I will link her down below as well. This is an Eeyore Disney gunned uh, 100 acre collection toy. It's a stuffed animal. I got this at a thrift store for a dollar. I sold it for $9.30 plus shipping. These are the Calico Critters uh, shutters, replacement shutters. Uh, 
definitely calico critters. I will pick up replacement parts. These were actually from the Goodwill bins, but if I remember correctly, these were already just laying in the bin. Somebody else had already like, I think made a pile and then decided to leave it. Um, I can't remember. I've got footage of it, but, uh, I knew that I could sell these. I sold these for $7.44 plus shipping. This is a little vintage leather miniature suitcase. It works. It has little latches and it opens and closes. It's super, super cute. I have a video of it down below. And I actually sold this to a viewer. Um, so thank you so much for your purchase. And this is her store right here. It is Whimsy Taught Trendy. And if you click on the heart, that will save them as a seller. I've got them linked down below. So definitely check her out. Uh, she's got some vintage Polly Pocket. I think she's got really good prices on her stuff. All of this Polly Pocket for $19.95. Look at this Octonauts, $29.95. I would be parting that out. I If this is the little piece that makes sound, sometimes you can get 20 to 25 bucks just for that piece. I have completely parted out these before. Now there are different versions. Um, I don't know if this is a newer one or an older one. I think this is the older one, but was this the video? I just sold this eel for five bucks. I have sold the turtle, I think for eight to 10. These um, right here, the hanging things. Oh my goodness. She could make so much money if she parted this out. Definitely keep that in mind. Um, I'm just kind of talking about her store right here because I'm looking through it and she's got some really, really great stuff. So um, check her out down below. And oh, these are Beyblades. Wow. Yeah, she's got some great stuff, you guys. So she is linked down below in the description. Whimsy to Oh, whimsy to trendy. I said it wrong. Whimsy to trendy. I'm so funny. Okay. This came from the plush lot that I got from free for free from a viewer. And you guys are going to hear this over and over because I got like a ton of plush. Like, oh my goodness. It's unbelievable how much I got. And um, she messaged me on Facebook and she said, come and get it tomorrow and you can have it all free. I need it out of my house. So I went and got it. Um, sold this one for $9.30 plus shipping. It's the Brass Button Bear Collection, Cody the Bear from 1996. This is the Clue Classics game with a second crime uh, scene Hasbro, sealed, new. Um, I got it out of a thrift store mystery box. It was sealed, so I listed it and I sold it for $9.30 plus shipping. And the gal that I got the free plush from, I will link her down in the description as well. Vintage Educational Tool Circle Master Compass Key to Geometry. Um, I got this from an estate sale clean out. So I've got probably less than a dollar in it. I sold it for $12.40 plus shipping. This doll right here. All right, you guys got to go watch my video because I'm not going to tell you the whole story. But the weirdest place I've ever sourced. Okay, you got to go watch the video. That's what it's called. This is the doll and there's a whole story behind it and it's kind of a funny story, but I bought, I, I, no, I didn't buy it. Go watch the video, but it's not in good condition. It's part of its legs broke and I still put it up for auction and I'm like, I can sell this. And I sold this for $9 and 99 cents plus shipping. The next item is this connects black motor battery powered forward reverse replacement part. Um, the reason I put the color is because most of them are green and somebody may be looking for black. Um, I've not seen a lot of black ones before. Um, I sold this for $10.40 plus shipping and I got this out of the Goodwill bins. This is a motor and it goes forward and reverse and these are a great selling item. It's a great bread and butter. This is the Heartland Valley Village Christmas Resin Trees. I picked this up in a thrift store mystery box. Usually I just redonate these things and I kind of tested myself and made myself do it. The reason I don't like listing this stuff is because I don't like taking it out of the box and taking the pictures and putting it back in the box. And it's just not quick. I like the quick process. Um, that's why I like small toys. But I did it and I'm glad I did because I sold this for $20 plus shipping. This is a Marie Osmond bunny and I got these out of a thrift store mystery box. And I will tell you, 
I think I got three of them. Two of them sold super quick. This one has been hanging around for like a couple years. Somebody made me an offer of $30. I went ahead and took that and the buyer paid shipping. So this was in, I believe, a Christmas thrift. Uh, I think it was a Christmas box. It wasn't a toy box. And it was from a thrift store. This right here is a brooch. It's a ballerina brooch with the little dangles. It's uh, signed LCD and it is pewter. I got this out of a dibble box from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. I think I mentioned that earlier. Again, she's linked down below in the description. Took a best offer of $11 plus shipping on that. This is a little Easter plush dandy collector's choice pig. I got this um, from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube also. She was doing $50 plush lots. Um, so you paid $50 free shipping. And um, I bought one and the Rebel reseller bought one. And we did a collaboration video where I unboxed mine and she unboxed hers. And we sent each other to each other's channels. So definitely check out those videos to see what we got in our mystery plush lot from Donatella Bottolino. And she will do that from time to time where she will offer plush lots for a set price and you don't know what you're going to get. So it's super fun. I sold this pig for $11.70 plus shipping. This is a vintage Barbie and Ken exclusive jacket. I got this at an estate sale for $1, sold it for $11.50 best offer and the buyer paid shipping. And the last item are these Super Mario Kart and World Super Nintendo SNES wall canvases. I got these at an estate sale. I did pay $3 each, so all in for six. Took a best offer of $30 plus shipping for these. All right, you guys, that was 27 bread and butter bolos. Definitely check out the description for um, those uh, other channels that I mentioned and their eBay stores. Thank you so much for being here. Let me know which item was your favorite. And thanks for watching.